I have a 16 year old here whose holidays were very nearly ruined or maybe depending on how you look at it, vastly improved. Uh, I don't know if you saw this 16 year old Logan Lose was traveling alone for the holidays. You ever travel alone as a minor? I've never done that. I've seen that on like TV, like Arthur or something. Probably they'd like fly him to grandma's. I didn't know anybody actually did that in real life. But sometimes you have to. I guess so. Uh, apparently Logan had to, but he was supposed to be flying from Tampa to Cleveland to be with his mother for the holidays. But instead, he managed to board a flight to Puerto Rico. He actually boarded the flight and sat through the whole duration of the flight before realizing that he had landed in Puerto Rico instead of Cleveland uh, by mistake. And so he had to then uh, get flown back to Tampa and then to Cleveland. So he was a day late in getting to uh, join up with his mother there in the Cleveland area. Apparently, according to his parents, uh, the, the flight attendant, whoever, you know, at the, at the, at the desk when you're going in to board your flight, didn't scan his boarding pass. And so that's what they're accusing Frontier Airlines of the airline in, the, in question here. They're accusing them of that's what happened with the mix-up. Well, at the same time, you might be thinking, what's the time difference, right? From Tampa to Puerto Rico versus Tampa to Cleveland. How yeah. long would that flight be? Uh-huh. They're the, almost the exact same distance. Two and a half hours to Cleveland. Uh-huh. Two hours and 50 minutes. Puerto Rico. Now, if Logan was an astute geographer or had the window seat, he might have been able to realize that there was a lot of water surrounding his flight that ordinarily the you might whole not. way. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't expect that heading from Tampa to Cleveland necessarily. Or he could have looked at that little flight tracker thing. But I mean, hey, he's 16. He's a minor. It's not his job to be, you know, sticking to the itinerary. It's wild. That I mean. If he could do this, so could you or I. We could go to the airport, buy a ticket for one flight, hop on a different one, and wind up in Puerto Rico, which would actually be a nice little treat. And you got to think, too, when you get on the plane, sometimes even over, the pilot will come on and be like, who's ready to go to Puerto Rico? That's right. And he was probably like, Puerto Rico? Oh, he had his headphones in. What's he talking about? Yeah, he wasn't listening. Playing Roblox on the So how much money does this kid get? I don't know how that. You got to think he gets out. something, right? Uh, he gets one free flight. He already got a free flight, a free free round trip to Puerto Rico out of the deal. <laughs> so now he gets. I'm I'm guessing he gets you know points. I don't know something. how Frontier does it. Yeah, air miles. But at the same time, they're like he boarded the wrong plane. You know? Yeah. Whose yeah. fault is this? It's a little bit of both, right? I mean, does he not read and also read? You know, because they have it on the thing, too. But you know what? Sometimes those things, the, the, the little boards at the flight you're about to board, they say multiple places. They could. Because the flight will be like, this is going to Puerto Rico, then to Cleveland. So you're going to Cleveland by way of Puerto Rico. Like, that, that's a thing. So, uh, yeah, maybe it's not his fault. Yeah, I could be hard on him. I don't think I need to be. I think uh, Jeff at the end says, of the day, well, he should be able to read. He should be able to read. But yet again, the airport, confusing place. He's For me nervous. as an adult. Yeah, Probably nervous. First time flying alone, probably. No, I would, yes, yeah, sounds reasonable. And he's just kind of like plucking along. They said to go to this gate. That's the gate he went to. He thought he got on the right plane. And he's probably, he's been on TikTok. He's seen all the, the controversies. He doesn't want to be the kid standing up looking like an idiot. Hey, I was supposed to go to Cleveland. Sit down, sir. What would you, I mean, once you yeah. realize, when you're on the plane and you realize, holy crap, I'm in Puerto Rico. Yeah. I'm supposed to be going to Cleveland. But that also makes me wonder. Could you board any flight, any plane? Yeah. Could we wind up in Tokyo if we just walked in the wrong direction? Like, who was scanning his ticket? You just let him walk on? It's yeah. clearly said Cleveland. Apparently nobody. But I'll tell you this much. If you bring on an extra bag, they're going to stop you. But you might be going <laughs> yeah, to the wrong city, right. and they don't care. Your bag will wind up wherever you are supposed to go. <laughs> if you like that video, there's a ton more. Go check out our past videos and subscribe so you don't miss what we do next.